Hello guys and welcome to another episode. This episode is going to be something different. In this episode I'm going to show you the 5 things I don't like about my RAV4. If you guys know, I have a 2021 Toyota RAV4 and I traded in my 2019 because this one, obviously the 19 is the first model. I didn't want the first model because some most of the times every new car they have a lot of um, stuff going bad and exactly when I replaced the 2019 I got a letter from the uh, Toyota saying that they need to replace the fuel pumps on this one I, I don't have any recalls on this one so far so that's good that's why I trade in plus uh, a new car for the channel is always good let's start with this episode I'm not a hater I don't like to hate on anything or anybody. That's why the title of this episode is Five Things I Don't Like. I'm not going to put Five Things I Hate About because I'm not a hater. That's all. If you're a hater, good. And it's going to be the wind noise. Wind noise is crazy. I just still can't figure it out. And plus, right now, I can't do anything. And I'm going to show you in a minute how bad the wind noise is okay right now we're doing 55 miles an hour 60 let's see if you can hear the wind noise okay so one thing that I can do that I know is not going to change a lot is removing the crossbars on top of the RAV4. Probably that, and if I remove these rain guards, probably that's going to uh, minimize the noise, but it's still going to be there. Because on my 2019, I used to run it without, at the beginning, without the crossbars, and it didn't have these wind deflectors, um, and it's still... The noise from the uh, air, it was really loud. So that's the first thing I don't like about my RAV4. Now, let's move into the second thing I don't like about my RAV4. The number two thing I don't like about my RAV4 is going to be the automatic start and stop button. Which is that one right there. It's nice smooth every time that you stop in a light the engine shut off and when it starts it just kick the truck like the truck is moving forward a little bit and it's it's really annoying that's not the main reason the main reason I don't like it is because in the long term it's gonna wear out the the bearings on the engine because you stop in the light or when it's traffic and then the engine just gonna start again stop start stop start and when it's no lubrication on the main bearings and then you just go, that's going to damage your bearings in the long run. That's why I don't like this feature. This is some American rule. They need to have an automatic start and stop. Super annoying. In the long run, if you try to keep your RAV4 or any vehicle in the long run, it's going to be bad for your engine. Just remember that. I never use it. I remember just to turn it off every time that I jump in my RAV4 because I just don't like it. It's really annoying. Okay, and number three. Something that I found kind of annoying is the shift lever. Sometimes when I move the RAV4 and I put it on park, it's really clunky. Right there. I feel it like it's tried to go, but it's kind of hard to push it. And when you push it, it feels awkward. So that's what I don't like about this one. Uh, I didn't have that problem on the 2019. I do have it on this. So I'm going to check with the dealer. Number four. There is something about these seats that I don't like. I feel like I don't have enough support. And that's just me. The seat feels a little bit shorter. So I don't have enough support on the back of my legs. So I don't feel comfortable on these ones. I've been driving my Accord. I've been driving some other vehicles. And uh, there is more. I think there is more length. On the bottom of the seat. 
because on this one on this part right here i feel like it is it's a very short seat and probably that's just me i just don't feel really comfortable in this seat why i don't know and the number five will be the rear bumper there is no support on the bottom so when you're driving at high speeds on the highway the bottom part just flaps around a lot of people complain about it you can see right there in the middle the plastic doesn't have any support so it's not steady it flaps around with the wind okay guys so i leave you with that those are my five things i don't like about my rav4 i hope you like this little episode guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one peace